Okay, so here we are. The client just faxed to us on our digital fax. They're 8879. What we want to do is take this 8879, put it into our document management system, and then file the return electronically. So if this was Microsoft Outlook, the file would be included up here. We could just grab it. From here, we would throw it into DMS under tax returns, and we would be done with that part. This is GoDaddy's email, so you have to go to the email, you have to download it, and once you download it, um, you get a PDF file to your desktop is where I save this one, and it just has facts, it has a number, so I want to go ahead and I will rename it. The This particular client is just called 1040 client, so we will change it to 2012, which is the year. Their name is 1040 client, and it is form 88. 79. Now, we have the file. All we have to do is grab it and throw it into tax returns. As you see, obviously, there will be a lot more data here on the sample. There's nothing in it, just 8879. We began with the year, the client name, and then it's the form 8879. Again, if we were using Microsoft Outlook, we could just grab it and throw it in. And at this point, we would be in here. We would just right-click on it. We would rename it, and we would be done with that part. So let's go ahead and just delete this because we don't need it anymore. We've now saved it into our document management system, and we're done with that part. Next, we want to go into Intuit Pro Series. So here's our Pro Series account. We have our 8879. We now have permission to file our tax return electronically. We're going to go and open the tax return. It's probably worthwhile to go ahead and clicking the Review button one last time. We start. Let's just zip through this real quick. We're finished. And we're going to go to client status. Going to change the client status to if file electronically, return filed. As I'm sure you're aware, it automatically pops up the date. All we did was click the little button here. Then we go to e file, or, whoops. We go to e-file now. We click the e-file now. They always want you to save it first. We save it. We don't have, this is for the actual tax return. We don't have, um, we didn't have an extension for this particular blank 1040 client. We click on it, we hit OK, and hopefully you're familiar with what it does. It just shoots you over to the electronic filing screen, so it's just sitting there. You gotta go in, you find the client again, you click on the client, and then you hit the e-file button again from the e-file section. And you are done. After that, all it takes is to monitor it, make sure it goes through, which can anywhere be from an hour to maybe a few hours. And that process is done.